A driver is going over 20 miles an hour in Spokane's school zones. May soon find a ticket in the mail from an automated speed reader. A KXY 4's Allie Norton is working for you tonight with a look at how the city plans to crack down on drivers who speed through school zones. It works just like a red light camera. Once a car goes through the school zone exceeding the limit, the camera takes a picture of only the car and the license plate. The registered owner will receive a citation in the mail. Now, whether it's a warning or an actual fine is still being decided, among other things. The Spokane City Council has approved a pilot project to install speed reader devices that would ticket those going over the limit in a school zone. Well, we have had a lot of success at the high-risk intersections in Spokane in not only reducing accidents but reducing speeds, and we hope to have the same success for our children. It's still in the planning stage. City staff are working with Spokane police to decide where the test run would be if citations would be a ticket or just a warning, and what kind of device would be used to capture the speed. Well, there are two types of technology available. One is something that's like a radar gun. Another uh, kind of technology is with a pressure plate. Seattle already uses them. The state legislature is looking at making the pilot projects permanent. In the first year, cameras captured more than 44,000 drivers speeding. Two years later, citations went down to 15,000. However, some still don't think it's a good idea. How do we justify putting the red light program in school zones when we really, you know, haven't had any uh, incidences, so to speak. Council member Fagan says that people will think it's just a money grab, but for others, it could mean a life saved. I walk with my kids every day to school and people don't pay attention. They go too fast on the side streets. They don't care about school zones. Kids will get hurt. Again, it is still in the planning process. The proposal has to go back to the council for full review before it is implemented. Council member Mum would like to see it in place by fall. Reporting in West Central Spokane, Allie Norton, KXOY4 News.